Ready, go. Okay, ready, go. Hmm. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at uh, what you're doing here. So during the backswing, essentially the backswing is all just uh, done by the arms here. Mm -hmm. And also the backswing is quite uh, small here. You're stopping about here. Yeah. And then your um, face is turning this way and then you're losing the ball mm -hmm. going about here and then turn back and then try to hit the ball. That's why you're missing the ball. Okay. And as you can see here, your body is spinning and then you're using the arm to hit the ball here. And then down the line view here. And then the downswing is rushed here and then try to hit the ball with the arms. And then the body is basically spinning. Your body is upright and spinning. And try to use the arms to hit the ball here. And uh, obviously, as we get old, the muscle function decreases. Then in order to uh, compensate that, you have to use actually the range of motion. But your range of motion is restricted quite a bit. Yeah. So the backswing is really small, only going about this much here. And then try to use the, the muscles to the arm muscles to hit the ball. Right. But more than anything, you have to let the head go more. So it doesn't have to be um, you know, a lot of body motion, but simply using the arms and let it go a bit more. Okay. So this is uh, one thing we need to work on. And um, also, instead of just spinning, in terms of body motion, instead of just spinning, mm -hmm. you have to have a good shift laterally here. Okay. Shifting to the right and then shifting to the right, uh, left here. So that when you turn this way, you're turning more about the right hip here, turning this way here. When you turn this way, shift here and then turn around the left hip here. So make the motion more natural here instead of using the arms here. Mm -hmm. So throw, throw here. So let's uh, dance with me a little bit. Okay. Uh, keep your hands here, lean slightly forward, and then the knees uh, flexed slightly. So assume a uh, you know, comfortable position here. And then we're going this way. So shift the pelvis this way and then try to push the ground with the right leg. In other words, uh, by extending the right leg. Okay. Yes. So when you go this position here, then the, the right hip is moving up because your leg is uh, straightened here. Right. And then uh, the pelvis is shifted this way. So in the frontal view, this leg is uh, fairly straight and this also appears to be uh, straight. Okay. So you need to let the pelvis go. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then left side is the same. From here, shift and then turn this way. Mm. So again, right. Yep, left. So you, sh you have to let the body shift instead of just uh, spinning here. Okay? Uh, I see. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Actually, pretty good. <laughs> the rhythm is pretty good. Yeah. So always the body shifts first and then you turn. So from here, shift first and then turn, shift and turn, shift and turn, shift and turn. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Now the arms down, and then try to swing the arms here, here, here. Now, instead of lifting the arms up, instead of intentionally lifting the arms up, just to throw the arms. Mm -hmm. And then so uh, the gravity will slow, slow down the arms, right? Yeah. Both ways. Throw and then gravity will slow it down. Throw and the gravity will slow it down instead of lifting the arm. Okay. And then make it uh, as smooth as possible. So here, throw, 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 throw. Feel the rhythm here. Are you a good dancer? Not very good. <laughs> mm. 
So uh, then uh, you need to take a dance class <laughs> with your wife. Okay? Again, you're still using your arms here. Okay. So just relax the arms here. And by moving the body, you're throwing the arms. Throw, and then throw, throw. So this way, naturally, you will be able to promote the body motion here. Uh, also here, when you shift, no need to uh, put the knee in like this. Okay. Instead, straighten all the way. Yes. Mm. Yeah. And then, so this time, we'll try to, let's try to uh, increase the range of motion of the arms. All the way here, all the way here. Throw, 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 throw. Relax, 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 relax. Relax the arms, relax the arms. <laughs> <laughs> relax the arms. So lean a bit more forward. Okay. Relax, relax, relax. Completely relax. So when the body moves, the arms will move automatically. Okay. Now, now, so at the end of this throw motion, try to lift your arms a little bit here. Uh -huh. So bring the arms higher. Uh -huh. Higher, even higher. And then with the both hands together, both hands together. Okay. Yeah, so and then try to try to bring the hands as high as possible here. Okay. okay. And then as you as you turn, as you turn, the the feel you need to have is by using the lower body action, you are promoting the body turn, turn, turn here. Instead of just the turning, yeah. you have to have the, the feel of throwing the arms, throwing the arms. Okay. So your lower body has to help the upper body turn. Yes. Throw actively. Throw. Throw, 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 throw. And then when as you do this, more than anything, you have to increase the range of motion. Okay. Okay. Particularly the, in the backswing here. Currently, you are stopping about here. Mm -hmm. They try to hit the ball with the arms, but you have to let it go higher here. So eventually, you, have, you should be able to drop the club head okay. that way. So now... Let's try to swing the rope around, okay? So the key here is making the end of the rope moving faster around your body. So. Feel, the, feel the motion of the end of the rope. The goal is to move the end of the rope faster around your body. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Now, now what I see is that your, your lower body is helping the upper body turn. Mm -hmm. That's why you can swing it faster. Right. So imagine this is the club. Yeah. Then if you can swing the club like that, then you'll have fairly good speed. So again, again, swing back and forth. Mm -hmm. Yep. So more than anything here, in the backswing, your hands are coming up about here. This is good, okay? Bring the hands higher. Bring them higher? Is, instead of the hands stopping here. I'll get them up here. Yeah, try to, try to bring the hands as high okay. as possible. And then use the lower body to promote turn. Instead of using the arms, turn the body, turn the body, yeah. Turn the body and throw. Turn the body and throw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, okay. I will record this. Swing, swing. Turn the body to promote the rope motion. Turn the body, turn the body, turn the body, yes. This is a fairly good movement here. The rope is moving fairly well here. So if you can move the clip head like this, then it'll be uh, phenomenal. Right. Yeah. 
So uh, the, the bottom line is you use your body, turning the body, and then let it go, let it go, let it go. So let me record from here. So again, using the lower body, promote the upper body turn and throw the rope both ways. Swing, good, swing, swing. Use the body turn to throw the rope. Throw, throw. Ah, now one thing here. What I observe from this direction is that uh, when you start the downswing, uh -huh. When you start the downswing, currently what you are doing is you are using your arms here out okay. to start the downswing. But instead, keep it here. Turn the body. Turn the body and throw the hands this way here, instead okay. of throwing that way. Okay. Mm. And then by turning the body and then throw the arms this way. Yeah. So make sure that when you start the downswing, yeah. instead of uh, just using the arms here, uh -huh. go up here and then turn the body and then let it go, the arms this way here. Okay. It's always important to start the, the turn with the body motion okay. and then add the arm motion. Mm -hmm. Turn the body and throw the hands. Turn the body and throw the hands. Turn. Okay, now here. So put your right hand on your belt. Okay. And then using the left arm, you're throwing the left arm this way. So during the back swing, try to bring the, the arm as much as possible this way here. And then by using the body motion, throw the arms. Throw the arms. Yep. Yeah, so now have a similar feel here. When you use a rope, instead of bringing the rope down this way too much, try to let it go out. Okay. Like this. So try to throw the rope away from your body in okay. instead of just bringing too close to the body. Okay. So make it a bit flatter. Yes, reach out more. Reach out. Reach out. Reach out. Mm -hmm. That plan is a lot better now. Yes. Swing, 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 reach out, reach out, reach out. Okay. So when you hit the ground, mm -hmm. when, when you actually try to hit the ball, when you hit the ground, that means it's coming too close to your body. Okay. So reach out a little bit so that it doesn't hit the ground. Okay. This is coming a bit closer to the body. This is earlier swing here. Okay. Now try to reach out a bit more. So try to use uh, the distance you have here. I seem to be more off balance on the, uh, on the finish because I'm not turning totally at the bottom. So in order to maintain the, the balance, you have to use the leg to control the body motion. Okay. So I'm just not using the legs now. Actually, so what happens is that uh, as you swing down, mm -hmm. your upper body is moving away from the target. Instead of, instead of that, you have to uh, let it go. Just uh, let it go instead of. Oh, uh, okay. Hmm. I think I was trying to. I saw you talking to somebody, you told them all, you're telling all, all everybody gets hands closed. In some down. cases, when, so. when the back swing uh, plane is too flat, yeah. and then keep uh, swinging that way, then I ask them to uh, go this way. But in your case, it's too I was, close. I was, I was yeah. putting the wrong medicine on. <laughs> so try to reach out 
more. Okay. So instead of quickly turning this way, gotcha. swing and then let it go. Yeah. Okay. As if you're throwing the rope this way here. Got it. So feel the, feel the motion of the rope, the end of the rope, and then let it go instead of quickly bring the hands up here. Okay. So almost to, almost to put the hands this way here, instead of quickly bring it up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so what happens is um, if uh, in the downstream, if your body moves this way like this, right. then it will pull the club, then you have a toe shot. Got you. The ball goes that way. Okay. So if you want to maintain good distance, then let it go this way instead of standing up this way. Gotcha. So more reach out and then let it go. By, by uh, using the momentum of the rope, let it go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when the rope comes, or when the club comes down here, you have to let it go and then let the club move the way it started instead of introducing motion like this. Then it'll alter the club head pad, right? Okay. Yeah. And then also in doing this, in the backswing, keep a bigger motion here. Yeah. So let the rope go around your body. Okay. So bring the hands a bit higher, use the range of motion, then throw. Now here, let's try something. So when you start the downswing, mm -hmm. when you start downswing, instead of quickly opening the body, right. try to start the downswing with your back toward the target. Gotcha. So the ball is here, and then start this way, and then let it go. Okay. So delay opening of the chest. So start the downswing with your back toward the target, and then let it go, yes. Mm-hmm. Now the, now the swing plane is a lot better. So yeah, when, I, I feel like I'm waiting to, to get the whole thing turned before I start it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when the shoulder opens early, you keep bringing in. Okay. In, but yeah. you start here and then let it go. Yeah. Let it go. So you kind of yeah, back. yeah, yeah. And then just the throw this way Got again. It. Okay. So when you start, Keep the target behind your back and the, yes. Swing, yes. Swing, okay. Swing, very good. Behind your back, swing. Behind your back, swing, yep. Yeah. So now look at the swing plane on the way down. Yeah. The rope is coming this way here. I'm still kind of, at the very end, I'm kind of jerking up. And this is coming in this way, but the, the last one. Yeah. So now the color motion is a lot more consistent toward the target here. Okay. So instead of quickly opening the body and then standing up here and then bringing this in here, Wait. let it go. Let it go. Okay. okay. Now let's go to the club motion. I'm not going to uh, tire you too much, so um, let's go to uh, club motion. Now with the club, with the club, obviously the rope is flexible here, so it will go around uh, your body, but the club is not that uh, flexible. Right. So that means uh, if you want to drop the club head more here, then you have to let the hands go more okay. instead of stopping here. Yeah. yeah, so feeling by uh, sensing the motion of the club head and then let it go all the way here. Try to drop the club head this side here okay. instead of stopping about here. So your goal is to go about this much here. Okay. And then swing back and forth. More. Mm-hmm. Yes. 
Uh huh. Yep. So you can go actually a lot more. Yeah. But uh, you okay. just stopped in your original swing. You just stopped about here. Okay. But you can go more here, and then let it go. More here, and then let it go. The range of motion is really important. Is, is it uh, from my wrist being a little bit too tight? And my, uh, let's, let's not for, uh, uh, worry about that. Okay. So for the moment, the, the goal is to increase the range of motion. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then also, when you start the downswing, keep the back toward the target. Okay. So delay opening of the chest. Yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, you can go a bit more. You can go a bit more. Drop the yes. Drop the clip a bit more. And then now the only thing is the only thing is, if you don't control the motion of the clip head here, if it keeps going too fast, then suddenly you have to stop it. Yeah. So you have to accelerate it, but here, decelerate and finish here. Okay. So you have to have nice deceleration here, instead of go all the way and then <laughs> suddenly try to stop it here. Gotcha. So overall, you have acceleration, deceleration, acceleration, deceleration, acceleration, deceleration, and then stop here. This is your final position. Okay. Instead of go all the way and then, then you have this bouncing motion here, gotcha. if it's too fast here. So, mm, mm, and your goal is stopping here, and then change the direction here. Okay. So you need to have a more intentional slow down, and then finish nicely, and then swing. Throw more this way, throw more this way. Keeping, yeah, keeping the back toward the target. Mm. Bring the hands a bit higher in the back swing. Okay. Bring the hands a bit higher. Swing. Swing. So what should happen is uh, at, the, at the end here, at the top, you have to minimize the motion of the curve right. head. If this is too fast, you, uh -huh. you will certainly try to stop it. Then you have a jerky motion here. Okay. Nice, slow down, just to change the direction. Nice, slow down, change direction, instead of. Okay. <laughs> so you have to control the motion here. Okay. Slow down and then finish it here. So simplify the motion of the clavet on this side here. Okay. Yes, swing, swing, swing. Uh, now it's going uh, more and more this way. Initially, about three swings were good, but then as you repeat, the clip head kept, kept oh, going this way. It's uh, crossing over. Okay. okay. Swing. Swing. Yes. So aware of, uh, be aware of uh, the motion of the clip head. Yes. And then make a smooth motion. Swing. Swing. Yeah. So this is the key. Increase the range of motion. Imagine uh, on the aircraft carrier, the runway is really short, right? right. So if the plane uh, you know, has to take off, then either the engine was, should be really good, or they have to use a catapult, right? right. And then if you, are, you have really short uh, runway and your engine is not so uh, powerful, then fuck you dive. <laughs> so here, if this is the runway, and then if you stop about here, and then start dancing from here to here, you have a really short runway. By the time you reach this target position, it's not fast enough. Right. Then either you use a powerful, uh, more powerful engine, that right. means you use more <laughs> muscles here, or increase the range of motion and start from here. Mm, then you have a longer runway. Right. So even if you have uh, the same engine power, because you have a longer runway here, by the time you reach this point, you right. have a higher speed. That's the idea. So, doing the backswing, let it go more here, but instead of uh, keeping it here so that it has jerky motion here, let it go all the way. So drop the clip behind your back. Okay. 
Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. And then wait and then let it go. Oh, this time you stopped it. <laughs> the, the first uh, couple of swings were really good. Swing. So bring the hands higher and then drop the clarity behind your back. Okay. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Now let's reach out this way a bit more. So let's make it a bit flatter here. Okay. So swing this way instead of bring down too much. So let it go out here. Out here. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, in, so in order to swing flatter, then what do you need? Actually, if you want to hit the ball with the clavet. So currently, the, sw the swing plane is flatter here, so it's going about here. Yeah. If you want to actually hit the ball with a flatter swing plane, then you have to lean slightly bend over more forward. Okay. Yeah. Bend over here and then swing. So bring the upper body down a little bit, so, and then you will be able to reach out more. So then the, the, tip, of this, the, the tip of the two are too close. Okay. So bend over, and then try to touch the, the T. Yeah. Well, so that that, yeah, that's the angle. Okay. Mm. Now try to swing that way. Mm -hmm. Now let's try to touch the touch the tip. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yeah. So make sure you reach out as much as possible. Okay. And uh, if you lean too much, then uh, it will be a bit uncomfortable. Right. Because you're so uh, accustomed to a more upright body posture, okay. but try to reach out a bit more as, as much as possible, you, uh, as much as you can. Yeah, mm. yeah, that was quite a bit. Mm. Yes. Mm. Mm. So yeah. from now on, try to uh, practice this this more, okay. because you are. As you uh, stand more uh, you know, vertically here, and then you limit the arm motion here, okay. and the swing, and then bring the arms up here. Basically, your swing is like this. Yeah. But try to reach out more, reach out more, reach out more. Okay. Again. And all you, all you need to worry about is just to throw this toward the target or to throw this toward the impact point, the ball here. Throw and then finish here instead of try to, try to lift, oh. lift it up here. Okay. Yeah, this, this lifting does not help much. Gotcha. So your goal is to uh, deliver the club head to where the ball is, right? Let it go, yes. Let it go, yes. Yeah. So then, this finish is uh, coming from the momentum here. Okay. So, so you just let it go, and then because of the momentum, you will keep moving and then finish here. Yeah. This is okay. So that's better then? Yeah, but if you try to lift this up here, yeah, it, it, it affects doing. the impact. I think that's what I was doing. Yeah, yeah. So for the impact, let it, just, uh, let it go and then reach out and then swing, and then just the finish using the momentum here. Okay. So your goal is uh, delivering the clip head where the ball is. Yes. Uh huh. If the swinging, you know, using the momentum finishing is okay, 
but you don't intentionally try to bring this up here. Okay. Yeah. Let it go, throw, throw, and then finish it here. Throw and then finish. So go, give enough uh, back swing, and then throw, and then finish. So now let me record this. Okay, ready, go. Bigger, bigger back swing, throw, bigger back swing, and then deliver it. Bigger back swing, throw. This was a small. Now, uh, yeah, this is the this is a good one. Now you start uh, going uh, this way, a bit close up, and then it's, it's jerky motion here. You see, it's right. a head has a bouncing motion here because you're stopping here using the, the arm. So, if you truly pay attention to the motion of the club head, then let it go in the finish here. Finish here, swing. Finish here and then swing. Finish here and then swing instead of. Because your arm motion here, that this happens. So just uh, let the club head go and then keep the elbow a bit down here instead of going out here. Mm. Okay. And this way, and then bring the club head behind. Okay. So if you can increase the range of motion nicely, Safely, mm, yeah. no, there, no. there, 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 there. More go this way. Okay, okay. Yeah, this way. Instead of uh, bringing the elbow out here, okay, okay, try to go this way. Okay. Then it's easier to bring it this way. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So now both hands. And a bit more, more, yes. Mm. And then throw, throw to the ball, throw to the ball, yeah. Yeah, so that's what you need to practice a lot. Right. So increase the range of motion here. Do not hold it here by using the arm here. When you stop here, then it's all arm driven swing here. And then, because from here to here, try to use the arm that your body turns quickly like this. Mm -hmm. But if you let it go all the way here, using this uh, runway, longer runway, you are trying to throw the club, throw the club here, so it becomes easier for you. Yeah. Okay? Let's uh, try to uh, hit the ball here. So this time, again, the key is uh, increasing the range of motion in the backswing. Make a bigger back swing. Mm -hmm. Yep. Bigger back swing that delivers the curl head to where the ball is instead of lifting it up. <laughs> Dead straight. So don't try to uh, um, dominate, dominate the club, but let the club go. Okay. Yeah. Again, large back swings, increase the range of motion, and then deliver the club head to where the ball is. This time your body moved away this way. Yeah, you had a toe shot. Are you waiting at me? <laughs> when, when did it move that one? On the way down. On the way down? On the way down, your body is moving this way here. Okay. So it has a toe shot, and then the ball went that way. Oh, got it. Okay. So you have to deliver the ball, the club head to the ball here, let it go, and then finish it here. Got you. Again. Thank you. 
Yeah, so uh, no need to rush. They have enough time up here. Yeah, yeah. Give enough motion and the way, and then let it go. When you rush. I, I feel, well, what I'm doing the best, I feel like I'm, I can see the ball and I hold it for a second after I see it. <laughs> and then so when you have enough uh, transition time here, yeah. then your body is ready to go and then let, uh, let the clip go. Okay. Instead of rushing down, okay? And then your body leaned that way as you go here, eliminate all this motion. If you aim the ball from here, then let the missile go yeah. to the target instead of introducing surprise along the way. Okay, <laughs> I got you. <laughs> The impact is good. The impact is good, but um, it's slightly tall shot, isn't it? Just a little bit, yeah. So, okay, now what we'll do is uh, okay, aim the ball. Aim the ball with the heel club. Okay. Aim the ball like this. Put it out here. Mm. So it hit the ground first, right? right? So you forgot that uh, what's the most important one is the clip head motion, not the body motion here, but rather, mm, and then let it go. Okay. You have to let the clip head go. Again, aim, aim the ball with the heel of the okay. club. Yeah, the clip head motion is the key. You're moving the clavet around your body and then hitting the ball. That felt better. And then try to throw the arms and club. Okay. Using the lower body turn and then throw. Yes. So you have to use the body to promote the clavet motion. That's the key. Yeah. Instead of interfering with the motion of the club, right? So using the body, let it go. Mm, let it go. Instead of... The key is the clavet motion. You have, you have to throw the club head toward the target. Feel the motion of the club head. Feel the motion of the club head. Good, but this time uh, you aimed it more with the toe. So, so aim the ball, address the ball with the, the heel, of, heel of the club. Lean, lean forward a, a bit more, so uh, uh, bend over a bit more. Okay. Reach out more, yeah. That's good. That was a that was a good shot. Mm. So when you keep standing like this, then you have more tendency of going this way here, and then go this way. So if you reach out here, not much chance for that. Oh, okay. So just here and then deliver it. So reach up more. Mm. So your goal is to throw the club head. Okay. The dead posture is really good now. Yes. <laughs> that uh, set of posture is really good. Yeah. The, the English is really good. So reach out more. You can, you can certainly reach, reach out more, but it was your choice to bring it back. And then going this way here. But if you are here. Okay. Mm. Just a second. Let me record this. Is that right? 
Yeah, this is really good. So ready, go. Look at the body angle here. Look at this. And then, I still, I still get my hands up, up so I should be. Yeah, so here, here, let it go here. When you lean, lean forward more, yeah. then what happens, even if you go here, even if it, uh, it goes, goes crossover uh, alignment, right. but still it'll be closer to the swing plane here. Okay. So, so I try to just increase the range of motion here. And as you swing, just the throw, let it go instead of um, try, try to force it with the body. Okay. So throw, feel the motion of the club head and then throw the club head. That's all you need. Yep, so lean forward a bit more. And then... Yep. Straight. Strike. So if you don't introduce any uh, unnecessary movement on the way down, so you know you are aiming it here, aiming it here, and then so the target is here. Right. Then just uh, let it go here. But along the way, if you introduce any motion that interferes with that, then the aim changes. So just the, the, because the aim is, the, the target is there, just to turn the body and then let it go, turn the body and then let it go. Make the motion really simple. Deliver it where the ball is. And then throw and then finish easily instead of try to lift right. it. So feel the, feel the motion of the club head. Feel the motion of the club head and then deliver it to where the bone is. And then do not introduce any surprise on the way down. Ready, go. This time it was a bit short and then you rushed it to the downswing. Oh, okay. So here at the top, go up here and then give enough time here and then let it go. So if you're shooting an arrow, Mm, develop tension and just release here. Right. So go mm, here and the aim and then let it go instead of rushing. So you need to have more time at the top. Okay? Give enough time at the top, no rush. Just. Yes. That timing is better. Yeah, that timing is better. So then from now on, you'll say, mm, Vijay Singh. Yeah, okay. That exaggerated Vijay will give you more time there. Okay. So no rush. Vijay Singh. Vijay Singh. Yeah. It'll give you enough time at the top. This time the body went that way. Oh, dear. Hmm. Again, again, you need to make the motion uh, simpler here. Swing and then let it go. Mm, and then let it go instead of using the upper body. So consistent uh, club head motion. Deliver the club head where the ball is. Yes. Yeah, that motion is good. Uh-huh. My, my hands are... That's, that's the, the flow and the swing plane is good. I don't see a sign of rush here. Swing. 
swing, yes. By using continuous swing, you can feel the motion of the curly head, right? So then you just get up and do that. Yeah. Also, pay attention to the curly head motion. Yes. Is that better? Hmm. Continuous motion here. Yeah. Feel the motion of the curly head here, and the quarter of the ball, and then, mm, and then deliver. At this point, I think the main thing is for you having uh, consistency. And uh, so keep hitting the ball in the same direction, right? Right. So that means that you have to have a consistent curly head motion. Mm -hmm. Yes. So if, if, if you, you can hit the ball like that all the time, then the spread is not that much. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And as a, the bottom line is uh, increase the range of motion here and also give a bit more time here. No rush down. Yeah. When you rush, then you use the arms. Then in order to use the arms, you have, your body is a, has a jerky motion. But you wait here mm, and then let it go. So keep swinging back and forth and they feel the motion of the club head here. And then come here and then also bring it back and then let it go. Okay. Feel the motion of the end of the club. Swing, yes. Swing, swing. Swing, yeah. Swing, good. And then now approach to the ball and move the club head and then deliver it. Strike. So the ball is uh, basically the direction is really consistent now. I haven't didn't swing as well as I did the practice swing. Yeah, always the practice swing because you are repeating motion back and forth. Then uh, it's always better. So but uh, with that, feel the flow here, right. and then go here, and then mm, a similar motion here. Well, I think my body starts loosening up some too, just doing all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So always, uh, the best practice is uh, repeat, repeated motion. Yeah. Mm. So just do what I was doing there? Yeah, yeah. Am I doing it correctly? Is when, you, when you do uh, the repeated swing, yeah. feel the motion of the club head, then that's all you need. Swing back and forth. As, as you feel the motion of the club head, just try to increase enough uh, range of motion, right? Yep. Yep. Uh huh. And then I now. See, I can't. Uh, when I do that, I can see the club head out of my eye over here, but I, I, I wouldn't see it then. Uh, in order to see it, you have to go a lot farther down. Okay. Yeah. Should I work on but, I, but yeah, if you can increase the back swing, that's, that's a better, but uh, for the moment, just to try to have consistent clear motion as you repeat, swing, and the throw the, throw the club head instead of try to dominate, dominate it, okay, using your arms. You feel the motion of the club head. Yes, now approach to the ball. The impact is uh, fairly good. So, you know, if you don't uh, introduce any surprise on the way down by having a unnecessary body motion, right. then you'll be able to deliver the curve head to where the ball is. Yeah. That's, that's what matters. I mean, at your age... Uh, Does it all happen like in the last like two or three years? I mean, I, I literally, I was, I was always sitting up driving the ball at like 250, 240, 250, 260. Mm -hmm. And now I can't even hit it too hard yet. So it's a matter of timing here. So um, when you time the motion here, then you can really use the lower body to promote the upper body yeah. turn here. So here, swing, 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 
swing, if you use, really use the lower body to promote the upper body turn, then you can have a good uh, speed and the distance. Right. But if you start using your arms pretty much here, then you definitely lose the distance. So you have to use your lower body to promote this turn here. So what, um, to, uh, to time, you have to time the lower body motion, the upper body turn. Yeah. So your lower body action, leg action should really help the upper body turn. That's what you need to feel. Instead of just using the arms, yeah, using the body turn, throw, uh, increase the backswing here, throw, Still, all the way down, you're using your arms here. Something. You're starting it with arm motion, but here in the body turn and then throw this way here. Body turn and throw instead of. Okay. When the arm is active early, then you lose distance. Like that, yeah. Mm hmm. Yes. Ah, this I'm rushed, rushed, rushed. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, so using the body motion, you should be able to promote the good... Uh, was, that, was, it, was my body moving better again? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Now you see where it landed. It bounced back all the way. Is that there? Yeah. <laughs> so it's always important to know where your clip head is, how your clip head is moving, how your body is promoting the clip head motion. Yes, use the body to throw the arms. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so now your body, your body is use, uh, moving the upper body better. So that's uh, the so-called orchestrated motion. It felt like that when I was doing it that time that I was slowing, slowly stopping it, you know, instead of doing a abrupt stop. I was... Now, now the, the overall flow is a lot better. Yeah. yeah. So the repeated, repeated swing is the best way to, uh, you know, practice. Yep. So this time it hit the down a little bit, but um, so, yeah, now this is the last one. Again, feel the flow, let it go, let it go, yeah, enough time up there, and then let it go, let it go, yeah. Okay, to approach to the ball. Make sure you deliver the ball, uh, deliver the club head. So uh, usually when you, uh, you know, face the ball, then you tend to rush, but give enough time here and then split, let it go. Okay. So instead of trying to hit it hard, make sure you have a good feel of uh, the club head motion here and then just throw. And let's see what happens. Okay. This time again, your body leaned that way. Yeah. Went this way. Instead, 
So I need, I need to, I probably need to wait up this side. Wait, wait, and also all the way down. All the way down, you have to let the club head go and the body is leaning slightly backward instead of. Okay. And I, I think I do that on the, when I do a continuous, do them like this. And keep more arm motion. Keep, keep, keep more arm motion at, at the top here. More arm motion, swing. Now, hmm. oh, this time a bit rushed. The, the last one was a bit rushed, the smaller and the rushed. Drop the clip a bit more. So the key is that in the backswing, this motion should be smooth so that you don't quickly stop here. Right. The whole motion should be smooth and change the direction. Smooth and change the direction. Smooth and change the direction. This should be connected. When you try to hit something hard, you don't <coughs> hit like this. Yeah. Rather, mm. <coughs> So this motion is to prepare for the downswing, right? So you are doing the back swing to do the down swing. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the back swing should promote the good down swing motion, right? So I do that BJ swing, maybe that'll help. Yeah, so you have to, con you have to connect mm -hmm. the back swing to the down swing. Okay. BJ swing. BJ swing. BJ swing. Hmm. So at the end, it should be connected to the downstream. And generally, currently, you go flat, and then this is going high up here. We have this feel here. Go a bit higher here, and then bring it down like this. Okay. So take a higher path, and then come down instead of go flat, and then try to do it. Okay. In the backswing, try to bring the curl head a bit higher. And then, yes. Yes. Uh, a bit higher, higher, higher. Now it's getting lower and lower. So you can go higher and then low here. High and then low, like this. then the club, head, club position is a lot better. Yeah, so have a little feel of uh, bringing this a bit higher and then bring it down here. Hmm. Okay. Hit the ball now. Appro approach it to the ball. But backswing should uh, prepare your downswing. So when the toe shot happens, that when you aim, try to aim the ball with the heel, the heel here. Because uh, you still have tendency of moving the body this way here. So you're moving away from the ball. Did I get my hands up that time? So when you have continuous motion, usually it's better. Yeah, that motion is good. And aim the ball with the heel. Aim the ball with the heel of the club. Mm 
hit the ground. That's that's okay. That's okay. okay right. Actually, that's better. Hmm. Uh -huh. So the back swing to down swing should be connected here. Mm, the swing, mm, swing, mm, yeah. swing. Instead of go and stop and then swing. Stop and swing. Okay. Then you're start, start starting the downswing all over with your arms. So it should be connected. Mm, turn here and then throw. Turn the body and then throw. Turn the shoulder and then throw. This motion should be connected. Okay. The clip head motion is continuous. Let it go. And then, yeah, in the, on the way down, just to let the club go instead of using your body a lot. Okay, yeah, so the back swing size is good. Back swing size is good. In the, in the actual swing, you have to uh, give me that, okay? Aim with the, aim with the toe, uh, the heel. Again, when you hit the ball, your body is leaning that way. Uh, I can see that. So you're bringing like this. Remember this motion here. Mm, and then throw this, let it go. Throw, let it go, instead of. Make the swing a bit flatter. Make the swing a bit flatter. And on this side, on this side, try to bring the club flatter here. Okay. Yes, like that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Now, hit the bone. You see, your finish position here. Your finish position is here. Yeah, I feel. I, feel <laughs> I did it. Uh, Instead, throw and then turn. My back swing was. My practice swing was doing better. Hmm. Always, when you actually hit the ball, when when you hit the body of the tee, yeah. what happens is. Yeah. And you need to just. Hmm. That's right here. Yeah. So let it let it through instead of using the body to force it. Turn around and go a bit flatter and turn around. Let it go. Let it go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and now approach it to the ball. Aim the ball with the heel. <laughs> again, your finish is here. <laughs> it's because you are so eager to go down. But uh, in the actual swing, try to again put more effort in the back swing. Okay. Go enough, and then from here, just to let it go through instead of. Okay. 
<laughs> and then now you're tired, so uh, but uh, so now here again in the in the actual swing, your goal is to uh, have a good back swing, good wind up. Don't worry about the down swing. Okay. Yeah, this time it was uh, the sound was a bit uh, more solid, but yeah, but uh, when you hit the ball, your body is leaning toward the target. Okay. Hmm. Thank you. Oh. So when you hit the ball, instead of hitting the ball here, swing through all the way here, okay. and then it just happens to pass through where the ball is and then have impact. So in the downswing. In the actual swing, in the downs, your goal is to bring all the way here. Okay. Instead of trying to hit, hit it here. Okay. So swing through all the way. Okay. Hmm. Along the way, it will hit the ball. Okay. But you never just try to hit the ball. Okay. Swing through all the way. Mm. Hit and then you are pretty much stopping here. Yeah. So that's why. There's a, so the best way to do it is keep practicing this. And, and, and also you have to trust the, uh, trust the, the momentum of right. the club. You don't have to push hard here. When you let the club head go, the club head has enough momentum. So whether you try to push hard or not, it will go and hit the ball. And then it will go enough. Okay? Right. So no need to try to put effort here, but rather just using the momentum of the curve here and then let it through all the way here. Yeah. Let it through all the way. Yep. Is that any better? Yep. And then maintain that motion. Hmm. Yeah. Still, uh, you, the, the finish position was a bit shorter than uh, your practice swing. Right. But if you let it go all the way here, then you will not hit the, the, the body of the T. So let it through all the way. Your image, your image of uh, the downswing is swing all the way through in the finish here. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, and also relax your wrist a little bit so that you can really feel the motion of the club head here. Yeah. Then let it go up here and then let it go up here and then let it go instead of. Okay. Let it go. Slow down here and then let it go. Slow down using the body and then let it go instead of. Okay. Let me try that. And you need to change the grip. It's too slippery. And, yeah. then, and then use a, a bit thicker grip so okay. you, can, uh, you can hold it uh, uh, better.
Turn the shoulder more to the left. Turn the shoulder more. Okay. Now hit the bone. Come back, put the ball in there, just mess it up. Yeah, so uh, it changes uh, your perception. Your shaft is uh, longer than mine. Oh, yeah. You can relax your wrist a bit more. Yeah. Wrist. Hmm. So as if, uh, as if you have a stick or gum on the head, right. so you want to shake it off with the wrist motion. <clears throat> okay. Then you don't have to move the body a lot. When you add the wrist motion, you don't have to use your body a lot. Yeah. Try to use your wrist more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was a good shot. You know, again, it's a matter of range of motion. But, um, so we have to increase the size of the backswing. Also, you have to mobilize your wrist to a certain extent. Okay. Because wrist gives you a lot of uh, range of motion and also speed. But if you hold it here and then try to use the whole arm to swing. So, think, so when I get up here, I'm not having it too tight. So, so do this. So I have a more active wrist motion here. Wrist. Shake it off. Shake it off. Mm -hmm. Use your wrist and then throw. Wrist and throw, yes. Mm -hmm. When you use the wrist more, then you don't have this motion here. When you use the whole arm, try to hit, you go this way. But when you use the wrist more, you have less of that. So mm -hmm. that's why. Uh, so uh, let me try that. So use your wrist more. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, use, use wrist, wrist, wrist. <laughs> shake, shake it off instead of. Again, uh, intentionally use your wrist. Even at the top, use your wrist here. Yep. Shake it off. Shake it off. Mm hmm Yep. Is that a good yeah. motion? Yeah, that, that, that motion looks a lot more flowing here. So add your wrist motion so that you don't have to move your body a lot. Rushed, rushed, rushed. You didn't have enough time at the top. So evidently, uh, as you use the wrist, uh, the swing pattern is, is, has changed a little bit, right? Yeah. Then you have to adjust. But more than anything, you have to wait here, give enough time, and then start the downswing. You rushed. Mm -hmm. so, BJ Sing. BJ Sing. Yeah, that was actually a good shot. Is that better? Yeah. 
the timing was really good, okay. and the, the shot was also pretty good. Yeah. So um, I, I, I did the BJ thing. Always, uh, always when you use your body, then that means you are rushing, and then your body during the action is not you know reading your body enough. Right. So then you have to use this compensatory motion. That's why you're doing this. But when you have enough time here and then let it go, you use your body less. Bring the hands a bit higher. Yeah, instead of PJ sing here, PJ sing, PJ sings. So emphasize the PJ here. Mm. Timing is good, but uh, your body. Yeah. This time the body moved backward. I, I forgot to do the BJ thing. So when you have a continuous swing, the motion pattern is fairly good, but when the ball is in front of you, you are breaking away from that pattern. Right. So here you are introducing either this motion or this motion here. Right. Instead of letting it go. So that's, uh, that's the always what you need to pay attention to when you practice. Okay. So if I, uh, yeah, I've, tried, I've, I've gotten where I can switch over to, you know, not hit, maybe if I swing with just a thing like that. Yeah. So one thing you can practice is here. So when you have the target here, so initially mm, hit about here. Mm, hit. They have a bit bigger motion, hit. Okay. Bigger motion, hit. And then bigger motion, hit. But as you increase the size, but still you have to deliver the clip at the back. Right. Okay. Let me try that. Mm. So you have to control your body motion. Do not introduce any uh, unnecessary motion. Yep. And then have the pay attention to the timing, the BJ test. So from the beginning, from the beginning, from the beginning, smaller ones also use the BJ. Okay. BJ sing, BJ sing, BJ sing, BJ sing. Even though with the the magnitude BJ. makes it different. Oh, the tempo changed. You say, BJ Singh. <laughs> BJ Singh. BJ Singh. BJ Singh. Bigger back swing, bigger back swing. BJ Singh. BJ Singh. BJ Singh. Mm -hmm. Rushing, rushing. Even, even that BJ is rushing here. BJ Singh. BJ and the short burst of Singh here. BJ sing, BJ sing instead of BJ sing, BJ sing, BJ sing. No, BJ sing, BJ sing, BJ sing, BJ sing. Bigger, BJ sing. BJ sing, BJ sing, BJ sing, BJ sing. That's getting better. So you have to practice that a lot. They maintain, you have a consistent uh, tempo. But even when you say that, still your tempo changes. Okay. Because of your body motion and tempo changes, and then what you're saying follows your body motion. Right. That's why. But you have to have a clear 
tempo in place, and then you have to match your body motion to that tempo. Mm -hmm. Sing goes first. Sing and then you are swinging. So your motion and the you are swing is not matching. I'm not matching it. Yeah. And also more focus on the back swing part. Okay. Instead of a sing here. BJ sing. BJ sing. BJ sing. Okay. Emphasize the back swing. Okay. As long as as long as you don't rush down. BJ sing. BJ sing. BJ sing. I'm not anywhere near as high as you want me to go. You're going here, about here, and then also you're using your arms, but turn the body here, okay. let it go. Turn the body and let it go. You need to turn the body more. Oh, more, more, more shoulder turn. Swing. More shoulder turn and then let it go. Still, it's all the arm motion here. What, what I say here is, yeah, you go right. here, Vijay Singh, Vijay Singh here. Instead, Vijay, turn the body and then let it go. Turn the body and then let it go. It's a matter of a range of motion here. Let it go, instead of. Right. It's all the arm motion here. And you have to relax your arms. We have to relax them. Go here, oh, and then throw instead of. Okay. So always uh, one step and then throw. One step and throw here. So body goes first. No, 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 no. So everything is going together. So here. Always one step and throw. Step, when you take step, your body is still closed here. Step and using the leg action throw, yeah. and then throw here. Oh, now you are going, you are going at the same time here. Okay. Step first, step, uh, step first, step first here. Still your, your arm is here, take a step first, and then using the legs and turn. Okay. Mm -hmm. The step is late, step is late. So go here and maintain this, uh, maintain this position and then take step okay. and then turn. Okay. Oh, so wait. So when you take a step, when you take a step, still your shoulder has to turn this way here. Okay. Not this way. Turn. And then still it's late here. Go here and take step and then turn around. After taking step, turn around. Mm. The, the, the shift and turn are going at the same time. In your case, the shift and turn are going pretty much at the same time like this. Rather, shift, uh, shift first and then turn around. Shift first and then turn around. Mm -hmm. If you pull, if you pull your arms down, then you cannot find the timing. By pushing the ground, you're throwing the arms this way here. Okay. Remember the first thing we did. Uh, in order to in order to throw this well, that you have to keep it closed when you take the step, and then opening this and then throw here. Mm, using the arms. So this is, uh, this is what you need to overcome. It's all arm driven here. Yeah. So in your case, always try to swing the arm here, arm here, but instead use the body and then throw the. 
Well, there's that thing where you you load a truck. And that. Mm-hmm. Yes, that don't take, that that, that uh, posture is better. So, so here yeah. and then throw. Imagine you have something really heavy, yeah. a, a bag of cement here. Yeah, I've done a lot of that. And then uh, here in the throw, right? It's easy for me to picture that because I mm-hmm. do that load the truck. This is a lot better, yeah. And then take, take a step and throw. Take a step and throw. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so step first and then turn. So that's what you need. Okay. So here, go up here, step and swing. Swing, then you will use the body. But if you do this, right. arm swing here. If it's really heavy, I don't think it's that heavy. <laughs> if it's really heavy, you cannot just uh, use this here. You have to use the legs and to throw. Right. Legs to throw. Is that what you want? Mm, still, uh, see. still you are turning your upper body instead of uh, using the lower body. So here. Hold the kettlebell with your palm forward here. Yeah. And if this is something heavy, then you have to use your legs to throw this. Legs and throw. Legs and throw instead of intentionally turning the upper body. Okay. So. Use the legs. Use the legs. Mm-hmm. Everything is turning at the same time. Shift leg, shift first here, and then turn. Shift first and then turn. And uh, no need to use the arms here. Just uh, put it down. Relax, 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 relax the arms. Here. Okay. Relax the arms. So you're swinging it with the leg action. Mm-hmm. Watch me, watch me doing this. You have to. Watch and then see what I'm doing here. Shift and then turn, shift and turn, shift and turn here. Instead of everything going at the same time. Right. Lower body moves first while still the move like this. Left, left step, slight left oh. step. Oh. And then turn here. If the step is done. Throw the throw the kettlebell instead of fighting fighting it with the arms. Throw. 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 And relax your arms. Keep the arms straight. Throw. Throw, you have to really throw. Throw it, throw. Mm -hmm. Look at this. If I throw, then it'll go up here. So throw, 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 throw. I don't use the arms that much. Using the leg action, I'm throwing it. Throw it, throw it, throw it. Merely, I'm holding it with my, my hands. Throw, and then wait until the gravity tracks over. Throw, and then throw that way. Throw this way, throw that way, throw this way, throw that way. Now the timing is better. Yeah. yeah. Throw. Throw, throw, instead of using the arms, use the legs, lower body, throw, throw, uh, bend, bend over a little bit more, and then throw, throw, yeah, yeah, so this happens here, throw, 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 throw. Throw, throw. 
So I don't use my arms that much. Mm. As soon as you bend your elbow here, then already you are using the, the arms. Okay. Keep, it, keep it straight down. Relax, keep it straight down. I got arthritis, I don't bend straight. Throw left, throw right, left, right, left, right. Now the motion is a lot better here. Okay, okay. <laughs> Do you have a kettlebell home? No, I get one. Yeah. Ten? This is a 10 pound. And then you can use the kettlebell and then easy motion with the body. <clears throat> kettlebell, the Russian style kettlebell swing is this one here. <clears throat> Mm. Mm. But here you are not using the arms and try to lift, rather using the body action. And throw, throw. Right. The same thing. Throw, 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 throw. You are just oscillating using the lower body. So you need to work on that quite a bit. Okay. Mm. Easy, relax, relax, and then just to use the. Remember, wait, wait, wait. Remember the first thing we did when you shift, you have to really shift the pelvis so that the legs go straight here. This here, this here, this here, right? Mm -hmm. Swing it, let it go, 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 let it go. Yeah. Instead of going in here, in here. Gotcha. Turning this way, you turn this way. You are shifting, shifting pelvis more. Shift the pelvis more here, pelvis more here, pelvis more here. You have to keep the legs kind of straight. Okay. All the way here. Here. And then all the way here. All the way. To try to keep the legs kind of straight. Shift. Shift that way. Shift. Right. Left, right. Hmm. Now the upper body swing and the lower body motion are better timed. Better, okay. Yeah. So you will be able to promote good upper body motion by using the leg action. <clears throat> like this. Instead, yeah, instead of trying to. Yeah, I think when, when I started it. I just kind of felt like I wasn't moving at all. Mm -hmm. It's moving. Yeah, so let it go. Using the oscillation here. Yeah. Throw it and then let the gravity take over. Right. Mm. 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 So you can really move the kettlebell using the leg actions. Right. Hold it this way, like a, as if you're holding a club. Yeah. Okay. Mm. And then have a good uh, rhythmic, rhythmic swing, rhythmic motion. Up and down, keep a bit of up and down motion here. Not the, the whole body, the legs. Mm. Oh, okay, really? Mm. Dance, dance, dance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now the Instead of using just the arms, now you're using the body as well. Yeah. So, now, with that in mind, swing the color back and forth as if you're holding the kettlebell here. So the goal is to throw both ways. Right, but here you're holding it here, and then try to use the arms here. Throw all the way. Okay. Throw all the way here. Throw all the way here. Mm-hmm. Yes. 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 Yeah. So in the back swing, your goal is to go all the way in here. The thousand all the way in here, all the way in here. Instead of right. just all the way in and then on the way down, let it go at, in, in one motion. Yeah. All the way in, all, 
all the way in, throw, throw both ways, throw. Here. Now, hold the clubs with the th three fingers each. Okay. That means you will not be able to force the uh, club motion with your hands here. And then throw here, throw here, throw here, throw here. That means you will not be able to fight. So you have to let, let it go all the way. Three, three fingers each. Okay. Yeah. So release uh, these two here. Three fingers each. So that means that you will not be able to force the motion okay. with, the, with the hands. And then feel the flow. Let it go all the way. Let it go all the way. Bring, bring the hands a bit higher so that the clavet can go all the way. And then on the way down, go up here. And then unless you finish it up, body motion, you should not turn already. Okay. So go up and then let it go at once. Go up, let go. instead of go up and the bounce back and then try to use the arms here. Okay. Wait until the motion is all completed and then throw in one motion, throw, throw. Throw, yes, one motion. Now I can see, hear the whipping, whipping sound. So go, uh, wait, and then let it go at once. Wait, and then let it go instead of. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, okay. so wait here and then let it go. Wait here and then let it go. Wait here and then let it go. Okay. Mm. The kettlebell uh, swing helped. Mm. Yes. And it create this whipping sound on the way down. Weak. Mm -hmm. Yes, whipping sound. Weak. 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 Yeah, like that. So, okay. so that way you can really help the club motion by using the body. So you do a lot of that. Yeah. Get a kettlebell and do that. Yeah. Could still your swing is a uh, uh, quite di arm dominant. Yeah. So then start the down swing like this, but go here and using the body turn and then throw body turn and then throw. You have to truly feel the idea of throwing, throwing the arms and the club. Okay. Okay. Instead of pulling it down here. Yeah. So without forcing the motion here, go up here and then. Throw this way, throw this way, throw this way, instead of mm here. Yeah. Mm here. Instead, here the throw all the way. Well, it's kind of like that one-arm drill you do where you put it yeah, back. Yeah, there. yeah, mm, then put throw, mm, throw. So uh, obviously uh, the age is related to uh, you know, the movement pattern. Yeah. So as we get old, I'm also in, in my 60s, so uh, right. <laughs> I'm getting into uh, that uh, age range. But uh, so then we start losing the coordination. So then. Well, I think we're, uh, I started just all of a sudden lost a whole bunch. And I had two hips replaced last year, and then, and then I had my knee replaced the year before that. Yeah, usually, usually when, when something happens, uh, like a, when you have medical operation or something, then everything changes completely. Yeah, my, my father, my father, he was quite active. And suddenly, we, he had a cold in one winter, yeah. and suddenly after that, things the condition changed completely. Right. Well, that's kind of what happened to me. And um, but I figured out that what I was doing, I was watching like guys like John Rahm, and, and they're swinging shorter and all that, 
And, and, and then I can't even hit it 50 yards, yeah? They have these here. <laughs> yeah. And so it makes sense to me that if I can get where I swing. Yeah, you have, to, you have to feel how you, you know, how you work with the color motion. Mm, 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 mm. Instead of going like this. Mm, 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 mm. Throw, throw, throw. Throw, 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 throw. Yeah. So always it's a rhythmic motion here. So keep working on it. Okay. Particularly, it's easy to uh, lose the coordination and rhythm. Right. You know, with the age. Um, well, I get. Uh, I'm beginning to get 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 it uh, better. I think it's better than it was. Mm. Uh, so you have to get away from your arm-driven swing, yeah. arm-dominant swing. Because you have to use the whole body, right. particularly uh, at your age, it's important to use the whole body right. instead of just using the arms. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So uh, hey. there was a lot of swing. <laughs>